Hello and welcome to Healthy Nation. I'm Pat Murphy. A good night's sleep leaves you rested and feeling refreshed in the morning. But it isn't just about how much sleep you get. It's about how much of the right kind of sleep you get, even if it's only four or five hours. Sleep problems can happen for a lot of reasons, and there are ways to get the rest that you need. The first step is figuring out the source of your problems. Here's Dr. Holly Phillips on what happens when we sleep. We all have our own biological rhythm or internal clock. It's called the circadian clock, and it regulates the way our bodies work throughout the day. It governs brain activity and hormone production. And it's also responsible for making us alert during the day and sleepy at night. The circadian clock is located in the hypothalamus section of the brain. It's only about the size of a pinhead, but the tiny bundle of neurons controls almost one third of your life, your sleep. The circadian clock controls the release of melatonin. This is a hormone that makes us drowsy. Melatonin levels are highest at night and lowest during the daylight hours. That's why some sleep experts call it the hormone of darkness. The amount of sleep you get influences several bodily functions, including blood pressure, kidney function, and cell repair. Sleep also plays a large part in keeping our immune system strong. It helps us to fight off germs and infections, helps us make good judgments, and adapt quickly and easily to sudden changes all around us. Basically, sleep is necessary for survival. Have you ever woken up completely refreshed after a night's sleep and you wondered why you feel more rested than you have on other days? Let's see what a healthy night's sleep looks like. The sleeping process is made up of five phases of sleep that cycle throughout the night. The first phase is light sleep when we can be woken up easily. Sometimes people feel the sensation of falling during this phase. During the next phases, the brain waves slow down until they reach what is called the delta phase. This is when we sleep most deeply. The last phase is REM sleep or rapid eye movement sleep. Our eyes dart back and forth beneath closed lids and our muscles temporarily shut down to keep us from acting out our dreams. And we're most likely to remember our dreams if we wake up during this state since it's the closest phase to being awake. During the night, you'll cycle through the stages of sleep as many as five times. You may even wake up between cycles, which is completely normal. The first cycle is about 100 minutes with only 10 minutes of REM sleep. But in each cycle, you'll start to get more REM sleep so that your last cycle includes about an hour of REM.